Hi, my name is Dave Tamalo. I'm a Big Fix technical advisor based in the Chicago area. I've been working with Big Fix for about 10 years. If you'd like to connect with me on LinkedIn, feel free to scan the QR code on the screen. In this video, we're going to talk about upgrading the Big Fix compliance analytics server. So this is an example of an existing compliance analytics reporting server. It's functioning uh, and it's being updated on a regular basis. But I can see if I go into about that I'm running on version 1.10. There we go. And if I look in my Big Fix console in security configuration under configuration management and under Big Fix compliance install upgrade, I see that there's a server 2.0 version that's available for a first time install. Now this is kind of interesting because I've already got an existing um, analytics server installed. So if I click on the show non relevant content, I notice there is an upgrade uh, fixlet, but it's not relevant uh, to my environment currently. If I highlight that and look at the description tab, I'll notice this note at the bottom that the fixlet may not be relevant if the maximum Java heap size is below four gig and the default was two gig in prior releases. I'm on the prior release, so I'm running on the two gig, which is why it's not relevant. I've also got this warning fixlet that's letting me know about that low heap size issue. And you'll notice that it says in here, this fixlet may be relevant for systems earlier than 2.0 to warn against any issues you may have after upgrading. I meet that requirement, uh, that criteria, which is why the upgrade is not relevant. So I'm gonna work through the steps to fix the heap size and then I'll be able to upgrade. So to fix the heap issue, I need to get on the desktop of my compliance server, which I'm on now. So I open the Windows folder and I navigate into the C drive under program files, IBM, SCA, WLP, user, servers, server one, and here's my JVM options file. So I'm just going to open this with Notepad. And the first entry is that uh, dash at capital X lowercase mx uh, entry that indicates the heap size. So I'm just going to comment that out for the recommendation. And I will save this. And then we'll give my uh, Big Fix platform a few minutes for uh, the fixlet relevance on both of those fixlets to catch up. So I'm back on my Big Fix console and a couple of minutes have passed and now I can see that the warning fixlet is no longer relevant because of the change I made to the uh, JVM options file. And also now I've got the upgrade fixlet as relevant. So I can uh, click on that and then the description tab, I just review it for the notes to see um, if there's anything I should know about. It does note that if my install is running under the local system account on my compliance server, then it'll be automatic. If it's running as anything other than local system, uh, then I would have to run the download action and run the update manually. Uh, so I can go look real quick and I can see I've switched to my compliance server. Running services, here's the compliance service, and it is indeed running as local system. So I can just run the action to do the upgrade. Uh, also, uh, you want to double check your current version because if you're older than 1.9, you'd first have to manually upgrade to 1.9.91 and then use this fixlet to continue the upgrade. Uh, as we saw at the beginning, I'm on 1.10, so I don't have to worry about that. If you need that 1.9.91 installer, uh, you can link to it here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click the take action button and I'm going to uh, take the default choice to upgrade the compliance server. Uh, yes, I took a backup of the server in the database. So I can go ahead and click OK here. And I target my compliance server, click OK, uh, confirm that this is what I want to do and it's off and running. As I monitor the action, I can see that um, there are a couple of files to be downloaded, which has been done. 
and now I'm just waiting for them to be delivered to the compliance server so they can be executed uh, for the upgrade. So once the files have been delivered, I can monitor the uh, progress of the action just by watching the action history window here. And I can see that the um, upgrade is currently being executed by the agent on the endpoint. So I will just wait for this to show as complete. And then uh, we'll call up the browser and uh, see what it looks like. So now the action is reporting back as fixed, uh, which means that the binaries for the compliance server were updated um, and the database changes were made. Uh, now I can open the browser to my compliance server and it indicates, notice I've got new branding here, I've got the HCL branding. Uh, and because uh, the upgrade was run, I've got to update the database schema. So I just click on update schema and wait for that to complete. Once the schema update is completed, you return back to the login page uh, with the new branding and layout. Go ahead and log in and we'll explore what the interface looks like now. So as you can see, you come into the security configuration page, which ties to the uh, various custom checklists that you may have created. I can go up here to the info button and click on about and confirm that I'm now on version uh, 2.0, where previously I've been on 1.10. You may notice that um, the banner across the top looks a little bit different. The reports button has the reports uh, specific to security configuration. There's now a new um, grid over here that's got the different categories that are available. Security configuration, where we are now, uh, patch, which focuses on the patch compliance calculations that uh, com the compliance analytics server does now. And you can see if I select in the reports, then I get reports specific to uh, the patch information. Also, there's a vulnerability section that shows me my unpatched vulnerability status. And the reports there have the breakdown uh, specific to vulnerability. So as you can see, there are uh, quite a few changes when you upgrade. Um, feel free to navigate around and get familiar with them. So that completes our look at upgrading the Compliance Analytics Server. As always, there are a lot of resources available to you. Feel free to scan any of the codes on the left to either get to bigfix.com, uh, support.bigfix.com, or the Bigfix forum. You can use the QR code right above my name if you'd like to send me an email directly. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, and have a great day.